COVID-19 numbers in the tri-state region continue to rise. Just today, there were nearly 4,400 new cases in Pennsylvania. Governor Wolf was in Norristown this morning showing his support for the state's new school mask mandate that went into effect yesterday. Health reporter Stephanie Stahl is here with more on kids and COVID. Steph? Well, Yuki, even with the mask mandate in place, doctors are expecting to see an increase in children with COVID. The governor is hoping the masks keep those numbers under control and schools open. We want to keep kids in the classroom this year, especially after the disruptions and the instability of last year. Governor Tom Wolf at Hancock Elementary in Norristown talking about student safety with the Pennsylvania school masking mandate now in effect. Masks are one of the best tools we have to keep students in the classroom and COVID out. While there's plenty of support for the mask mandate, there is opposition. Chopper 3 over Quakertown High School in Bucks County, where a group of parents and students protested the statewide school requirement. Governor Wolf is downplaying the opposition. And I don't think there are a whole lot of parents who don't want to keep their children safe. As children get back to school, pediatric COVID cases have skyrocketed. More than 252,000 kids tested positive for COVID-19 last week. That's it's the highest ever weekly total, according to the American Academy of Pediatrics. Children now make up more than 26% of all COVID cases. There is no doubt that frequency at which children are being infected is dramatically increased. The highest number of cases are in areas with low vaccination rates. There are also a high number of teenagers who are eligible but haven't received shots and they haven't been cleared for children under 12. That's why there's such a big focus on masking. I'm a science teacher. I've been saying all year, follow the science, follow the science. We know that vaccines work. Get a vaccination. We know that masks save lives. Put your, your mask on. And hospital rates for children have gone up, but fortunately, severe cases of COVID in kids remains pretty uncommon. Yuki. Stephanie, thank you. New